Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech It. So today I'm going to show you how to make some world anchor carts. Basically you can put this behind your um, tunnel bore and it will just make sure it keeps running without you having to be in kind of the radius that it takes to operate. So just to make, just make sure that um, your tunnel bore will continue working with it without you being there. Um, so, you know, we've made one of these before so they're very simple to make and then we just need to make a mine cart as well to go with it. So we need some iron. We should have, I think I've got some on me. Got five. I'm just gonna need the things to make the world anchor. So that's three obsidian, two diamond, and four pieces of gold. And then we're just gonna put that on with a onto a minecart. So obsidian down in the middle, two diamond either side of the center block, and then gold in the corners. And we're going to make a minecart, so it's just a a boat shape with iron. Minecart, then put the oops, uh, world anchor above the minecart, gives us a anchor cart. Um, so we're going to take our crowbar, we're going to need to use this. Now what I'd recommend doing is putting the world anchor cart directly behind the board, tunnel board, just to make sure that um, that's the priority that is um, is used rather than because otherwise if you put it too far behind the chest it probably won't work it's left and behind <laughs> okay um, right so, I don't know what's going on there ah we sprung a leak so let's get rid of this Okay, so we're gonna need some blocks to just patch this up. Um, let's make a little entrance for it to go through. So people were asking me why can't we use dirt in the tunnel bore? And simply the answer is it doesn't work. It doesn't let you do it. Um, so that's why we're gonna use gravel. So let's just try and make a little As you can see the uh, quantum arm is keeping me alive down here so when it gets to four when it gets to uh, four bits of air left it will reset. I can't exactly see what I'm doing here. I'm hoping I have to drain this manually. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see actually what's going on at the moment. So I oh know it draws a three by three hole, doesn't it? So that's not going to work. Okay, um, I'm going to fix this up and come back to you in a minute. Oh, okay, guys. So that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, um, but. Yeah, I had to basically fill the entire hole out just to get rid of the water, but never mind. Um, so I've got all the stuff here. I'm just going to reset it all, basically. Done the tunnel wall. Then we'll put the head on it. Fuel. Ballast. Uh, track is in my chemical bag. Now I'm going to put down the chests and the world anchor carts. So put down the world anchor cart first and create the link with the crowbar. Then the chest. Second chest. And then if you want to have a mine cart you can ride in. Put that down as well. So there we go. So it will ignore this world anchor and that will just continue to run the, the tunnel bore and then it will go into this chest. Uh, be the first things it does. So we just let that mine a little bit until it moves along a block and then we should see it in the chest. Taking a little while. Let's 
so I don't have any track. That was strange, I thought I'd put it in. Never mind. Okay, so that's underway. And as soon as that gets along to the dirt, like that, we should see it starting to appear. Probably get rid of, gonna get rid of those torches I've placed as well. So when I checked this a little while ago, yeah, it's gonna get rid of those torches. Um, so I'm gonna let this catch up and then I'll show you how it works in action. Okay, so now uh, the tunnel board is in action. The water broke away the track and it just kind of collapsed, but um, you can see the dirt is in there and you should see it fill. It should go up by nine. As soon as we move to the next block. There you go. So that is the tunnel board in action. World Cup will keep it going. And uh, we can come back to that later on. Um... So yeah, so let's go and take a look at some more rails. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to make uh, some launcher carts. These are really cool things you can use, especially when you want to make kind of a track that looks around the landscape and things. It just like boosts you into the air and you can see a lot of the like, environment and things. Um, so I've had some iron being made into steel and got some... Uh, I've put this... Uh, these... Uh, tanks here as well so I can just bucket the creosote out which will make it a lot easier than, uh, nor than getting it out of here um, that will build up but I've just been taking it out and putting it in there just for convenience um, so we're going to make launch carts, we need to make some creosote uh, creosote into some barrel beds, so we're going to need some planks should have loads of them somewhere some wood, uh, some slabs so we're going to need to make eight rail beds, I believe it is, for one launch cart. Ah. Okay, so make that into wood, make that into slabs, tie that up, create that bucket, make four ties. Do that again. So it's quite a long task, but it's worth it in the end. These rails are absolutely awesome. So, okay, so that's our wooden ties. We're going to put those into a circle, get two rail beds. Now we're going to need to make some standard rails so that we've got our steel lingots. Use a roller machine to make 16 rails. Uh, we're going to need to make some iron blocks as well. So these are quite expensive considering. Um, so we're just going to condense this iron. If I did it the right way around, it will help. Okay, let's get that back. Uh, make them into blocks. There we go. So that's some things we need there. Let's get these a bit sorted out. Um, and finally, we need to make a piston. So, you know, vanilla item. Some, we need some, um, let's just check the recipe. So I go wood, cobble, iron, and a bit of redstone. I've got one piece on me actually, which is lucky. So cobble. Don't say I haven't got any cobble. Normal stone. What is it? We're not having cobblestone. I don't understand. Some loose items as well. That's a bit odd. Um, cobble. Okay. Those condensing again. Okay. So, cobble, wooden planks, redstone, and a piece of iron. Piston. Okay, so let's go make this outside. Make it day. So, 
So, following recipe, because you launch a track, so piston goes in the centre, rail beds go above and below the piston, two iron blocks either side of the piston, and then standard rails in the corners. Because you launch a track. So, um, what I'm going to do actually is make another minecart, and also going to get some track. I've got some, I made a little chest down here that's got a few supplies that we use. Um, just for convenience, for putting it into the tunnel bore if we need it. So, let's give you a little bit of a demonstration. Okay, uh, let's have the launcher track up there. Um, so, we're going to need to power this with a redstone current, so I'm just going to grab a redstone torch. do for now. That's now active. To change the settings on how much power it has you right click with a crowbar. So you've got force 5 is the minimum and then the maximum is 30. So it's equivalent to uh, how many rails it jumps as well so currently that's got 5. Actually I'm not sure if it is equivalent. Um, but you're going to get the idea. So I'm going to show you. Let's go up in stages. Let's now show you 15, for example. And go. You can see how far, just how far that went. Okay. So then uh, let's show you the 30. Now this is the maximum, and this is just insane in the membrane, insane in the brain. So. Oh no, I can't fly anymore. <laughs> so, it's actually gone past the render distance. So, let's just go and try and find this. There it is, I can see it. Okay, so, if we set a waypoint. Minecart. And we go back, we can just see just how much this is um, how far this is just travelled so it started here 67.68 metres roughly so let's round it up, 68 metres that's travelled on a power 30 so it's kind of 1 to 2 scale on the power Yeah, you might can jump in minecart if you want to. Um, so there you go, that's how to make launcher rails and world anchor carts. Hope this has been uh, useful to you and you can implement it in your own worlds. And yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.